Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabble, where of course every day is a train show and I hope you all had a wonderful Easter or Passover or Ramadan or whatever you celebrate. I hope it was great. I actually created a new holiday called By Trains Day. It's fantastic. It's on a weekday or a weekend and you just buy trains and it may be every day. Anyway, we got a bunch of things that we're gonna be showcasing for you today that hopefully will find their way on their layout. And without any further hesitation, let's get started with some new rolling stock items from Walther's. Okay, so we have here showcasing our new 53 foot rail gun gondola cars from Walther's. And I have a bunch of different row names and a bunch of different numbers. So the first one that we got here is just a regular rail gun gondola. And I love the little detailing there. As you can see, it says Nationwide Gondola Pool. This is just a really cool looking car here. I have a, another variation of this car, but for the Baltimore and Ohio. You can see the patch on the left there. I have one here that is the Denver and Rio Grande Railgun car. Then we'll go over with a change of color here. We got the Sioux line. Same design, just different color. We have here the Conrail, and I like the Conrail quality logo there on the left side. That looks great. And we got a couple of black cars here. We got the Delaware and Hudson, or the D&H, and the CSX, and that is a cool car. I like the little patch there that says, Ease Up. I don't know if I can zoom in on that here. Let's see if I get a little zoom going in there. Yeah, Ease Up there. That looks really cool. Neat little design there. And what's really great about these cars here is I have die-cast metal wheels, so these cars glide around the track effortlessly. I mean, as you can see, these things just do such a great job maneuvering on your layout. And, of course, operation is a key aspect of model railroading, so you want to make sure that you have some nice things to run on it with good track work, and these cars definitely fit the bill. Now, these cars retail for $31.98, but I'm selling them for $25.88. And the really cool thing about this, as I said, is I have a whole bunch of different road names and I have a whole bunch of different road numbers. Don't believe me? Check this out. So if you could take a look, rail gone, rail gone, rail gone, rail gone, rail gone. I have a whole bunch of different numbers with these cars here. So, for example, if I just want the regular rail gun one, I have the 310232. I have the 310323. I have the 310502. The 310578. The 310655. I have a whole bunch of different road names, so I know our road numbers. So I know a lot of people like to come up with a nice unit train. That's one of my favorite things to do is to come up with a whole bunch of the same car, but Every one of them is different, and I could get a myriad of different uh, road numbers here with these Railgun cars. They're really cool. They are high-quality Walther's cars, like you come to expect. So come in Yankee Dabbler and get these cars on your layout before they are Railgun. See what I did there? So I know a lot of you have a model railroad that probably has a few crossings and you need something to warn your little tiny HO cars not to cross the track when the train is coming. So I have a product that I am going to showcase for you right now. I think this is an awesome kit. This is the Tomar Industries HO Scale Railroad Crossing Symbol HO number 862. So if you're looking for this on our website, type in HO 862 and this will pop up here. Now this is an operating crossing single with LED lights and it's made of brass and I have one of these out here you actually get two in a kit right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it if I put it close to the camera it gets a little blurry but if I do it this way you can see it really nice and this is a fantastic looking piece here as you can see I have lights on both sides LED lights LEDs look fantastic I have here the track sign here stop on red single with the railroad crossing I mean this is just a great looking piece and I have the wires that get attached underneath so you can plug this into your layout create a little hole wire this up now you do need to get a flasher the flasher is not included with this but you uh, can put that on there and get your uh, railroad singers uh, flashing in no time. I think that a lot of lights that are on model railroads really dress it up. If you have various buildings, billboards, or crossing singles, I think they may really just liven it up and make your model railroad really uh, shine. So 
These railroad crossings sell for $59.85, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $53.99. Again, you get two in a box. So I just brought out one, but I have a second one in here. So this is going to look great. Again, if you're creating a nice little scene where you have a nice crossing uh, and you want to put some lights on there, I think this is the way to go by Tomar Industries. So come to Yankee Dabbler and check these out and get them flashing on your layout today. So I know a lot of you watch our show, you might get a little thirsty in the process, but don't worry, I have something to quench your thirst with some auxiliary tenders. Guess it only works if you're a steam engine. Oh, well, let's check them out anyway. All right, we have some great looking auxiliary water tenders from Scale Trains, and they are all depicting various eras of the Union Pacific Railroad. So as you can see, the first one that I have here is a in-service black version. And then I have an in-service silver version as well. This is a unnumbered one, actually. And now I have a different version of the silver. This one has black trucks. And the main difference between these two, besides the black trucks, is this one also has some black striping on the side, whereas the other version did not. That's a uh, flat silver there. Then I have here two excursion versions. Say that a bunch of times fast. I have here just the regular Union Pacific one. And I have here the American flag version. I'm sure a lot of people have probably seen this one before. Behind the 844, 3985, or 4014. Now the neat thing about these auxiliary tenders is every single one of them has a reverse light. And look, they are all on right now. Now the regular in-service versions just have one light as it would be prototypical on the railroad just to have one light on these things but the excursion versions again say that a bunch of times they actually have two headlights so if i change the controller right here and i put it on forward as you can see now those are on so that's pretty neat so these are just really nice, highly detailed looking auxiliary tenders. Again, if you have a big boy, if you have a Challenger, A44, or even a steam turbine, uh, these would just look great right in behind them. They're very high quality. They look terrific. Let's take a look at one of these and up close real quick. As you can see, all the detailing that goes in with that. I mean, this there's a tremendous amount of work and effort that went into these things. I love the air hoses that we have here. I mean, these are just really cool. And again, if you have one of those engines that would utilize these tenders in service or in an excursion career, I think you need one of these things. So I know a lot of us like diesel engines, and truthfully, who does? I mean, they are so cool. As a matter of fact, for my Easter egg hunt, I actually broke into my friend Christian's house and stole a whole bunch of his. Wait, that was you? Anywho, I have a great look at diesel locomotive from Scale Trans that I think you're really going to like, so let's check it out. Alright, so our Burlington Northern Santa Fe fans are getting a little angry right now because that means their wallet is about to get a lot lighter. Check out this ES44AC 25th Anniversary Rivet Counter Diesel Locomotive by Scale Trains. And this is a looker i love this diesel locomotive here this is fantastic as a matter of fact i love the detail that goes up here if i take a look at the type you can see all the different warning labels that are up there i mean that is this awesome detailing happening here and the real best part about this engine is the deco right here with all the different logos of the railroads that the burlington northern santa fe has merged with so i have here the burlington route the great northern the northern pacific the Burlington Northern, the Santa Fe, the Frisco, the Colorado and Southern, and the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle Railroad. And this is just an awesome diesel locomotive. Now, this engine is actually currently operating out west on the BN, uh, BNSF line. And there's actually a couple different ones that are painting in this paint scheme. And the neat thing is Scale Trains came out with a couple of different road numbers. So if you want to get a couple of these engines, well, I got a couple of different road numbers to choose from. I love the ditch lights in the front. We got the nice illuminated headlight there. This is just a great looking engine and it sounds great too. But don't take my word for it. Let's take a listen.
All right, let's check out the bell. The horn. And away we go. Back her up. And one neat thing I like about this engine is when you flip the direction on it, it doesn't just instantly go on with the headlights that kind of fade themselves on. Let's see if the video picks that up. Okay, it doesn't really pick it up too well on the video, but it does have a fade and it doesn't just go in and out. It kind of has a fade, which is pretty neat. Alright, hey, you know what this car would look good? Our engine would look good, Paul? Some rail guns. Let's try that. All aboard. Now arriving on track number one, train 6111, I ate too much Easter candy. So that ES44 AC looked awesome, but I have an engine here, believe it or not, that is even more finely detailed than that one. And I'm talking about these new scale train museum quality diesel locomotives here and I am going to show you what's in this pretty black box so let's check out this SDL 39 all right so if you're looking for perhaps the most finely detailed diesel locomotive on the market look no further this engine is just awesome here and this is of course the EMD SDL 39 now these engines did not have a gigantic following believe it or not only 10 of them were created and they were developed by the Milwaukee Road in 1969 now only as I said 10 of them were built to serve light uh, with light rail branch lines and of course through mergers and acquisitions these engines were actually also owned by the Sioux Line the Wisconsin Central and they actually found their way over in Chile towards the end of the life cycle. Now this particular engine that we're taking a look right here is the Sioux Line version and I definitely love that beacon up there and as you can see I don't know how well it shows up with the camera but here let me zoom in here as you can see it kind of it doesn't just flash on and off but rather it has kind of a pulsation where it goes like half on then full then half on, then off, and it keeps rotating. I just think that is awesome. And as you can see, kind of we have the Sioux line just painted over the Milwaukee Road version here. So this giant black that you have right here was blacking out, probably replaced a couple of panels that were on the Milwaukee Road version. And because these are museum quality pieces, I didn't want to take all of them out because um, these are very finely detailed locomotives. But here is the Milwaukee Road version still in the box. and. Not often do I talk about the boxes, but the boxes of these things are actually really cool. I have here the Wisconsin Central, and there's actually another variation of the Wisconsin Central with a more of a yellow or bright yellow pastel type of color, whereas the other one was a little bit more of a mustard yellow. And then, of course, I have the Sioux line here. 
And these engines just look great. Again, they are museum quality, so they are as detailed as detailed gets. So if you're looking to go to the head of the class, you definitely succeed with this one. So as I said, I usually don't talk about the boxes of these things because the engine obviously is the fun thing to look at. But these boxes are actually really cool. So check this out. As you can see, this looks great. I love the artwork here. This looks fantastic. And of course, it is museum quality. So if any of you are opening a museum, this is your first exhibit. And of course, this opens up here and that's where the engine would be. And it tells you a brief history about the locomotive. See, I bet you just thought I knew a lot about it. Nope, just read it. Uh, and I'll also give the, uh, the number specific instructions to the specific model here. And it says road number eight, uh, 582. And it has all the different things that are involved with this engine. Wow, that is a lot. All right. Now, of course, we also want to hear what this thing sounds like. But while you're running it, you can also run your museum quality pin you could put that on your lapel so everyone can know that you mean business you're not just a regular model railroad you're a museum quality railroader and yeah all right so anyway we're gonna check this out and we're gonna see what it sounds like all right let's turn her on shall we Now, there is just a tremendous amount of detailing that goes into this thing. The cab just lit up, and if you take a look in there, I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera, but believe it or not, there are actually controls in there that are illuminated. You can't really see it that well on the camera, but trust me, they are there. There is interiors in there. I mean, that is really cool. I mean, there is this incredible amount of detailing happening in this engine here. And wow, I really like this. I know I'm geeking out over this thing, but this engine is just really cool. All right, so let's take a look at what the horn sound, uh, sounds like, shall we? Bell. And all aboard. Number boards are lit up in the back as well. Let's back her up. Again, those lights faded on. And while I'm here, let's pick up some rail guns. Rail guns go with everything. So that is a great look at diesel locomotive. I love the way that looks. I love the way it sounds. It is incredible. And again, if you're looking for the best of the best, that is the engine to go with or one of the other ones that I showed you in the box. Now, of course, it's a museum quality piece, so it's not going to be cheap. Uh, it's supposed to retail for $439.99, but we're actually selling it here at Yankee Dowdler for $349.99. So that's actually a really good deal to get on a museum quality 
quality piece. Scale Trains does a phenomenal job with these high-end models, and I know if you get one of these, everyone's going to love it. I had people in the store, actually, when I was driving it around, just kind of stare at it because it's just, it's just, uh, it's an awesome-looking model. So, come to Yankee Dabbler and get this engine on your layout before, once again, it's all gone. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for watching our latest episode of What's New here at Yankee Dabbler, and hopefully you found something that piques your interest and will find their way on your layout. Maybe it was the Tomar Industries uh, crossing uh, singles. Maybe it was some of those auxiliary water tenders. Maybe it was a couple of these rail guns, or that BNSF 25th anniversary engine, and that is an awesome one. Or, speaking of awesome, Museum of quality and you could get nice glass and you could charge a mission to go see it See that's how it's gonna pay for itself. See I'm coming up with these ideas, man You need to get this or maybe it's all of them in which case. Thank you uh, But anywho, thank you very much for uh, tuning in and watching all these things uh, And hopefully again you can sell the piece of your interest and you'll find it on your layout Speaking of layouts, we have our next episode. It's going to be our Spring Layout Spectacular, and it's going to be awesome. We have a bunch of videos that we're going to showcase for you, a bunch of different scales, a bunch of different um, uh, variations and diesel, steam, whatever you want, we got it. As a matter of fact, we actually have a layout that's made entirely a gingerbread. And then the guy ate it. So we had nothing to show you there. But hey, it, it was a neat idea concept, all right? So stay tuned for the Spring Layout Spectacular. It is going to be off the rails. All right, see what I did? I was going to go off the hook, but I did a train. I'm tired. Anywho, thank you very much for coming in. We're going to conclude this week's Rail Fam uh, uh, video with the Norfolk Southern going through Morristown, New Jersey. And you get to see a nice little freight train going with a couple of diesel locomotives. So until next time, I had to go. I had to go meet with the IRS, actually. Uh, apparently, they had a little problem with me declaring my locomotives as dependents. I mean, come on. They're totally dependent on me. So, I mean, I don't know. I got to take care of this. So, I'll, I'll see you guys later. I mean, you know, 85, 102 dependents. I mean, that's fine, right?